Hey what's up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at the top 5 best quilt mod loader mods for Minecraft Java Edition. I am on the latest version of Minecraft, this is version 1.18.2. As you guys can see on the top left corner of my screen, I am using Minecraft version 1.18.2 and I am using the quilt mod loader version 0.16.0. This is the beta version 16. For those of you who don't know, quilt mod loader is a new mod loader similar to the fabric and forge mod loaders and it is quite similar to the fabric mod loader and some of the fabric mods are actually working on the new quilt mod loader so do go ahead and check out the quilt mod loader I have done a video on how to download and how to install the new quilt mod loader I will leave a link in the description to that video so do make sure you guys check out that video it does explain how to download install and get everything set up for the new quilt mod loader i will also leave a link in the description which will have links to all of the different mods which i am going to show you guys today so do make sure to check out that link as well all right so let's go ahead and check out the top five best quilled mods for minecraft java edition version 1.18.2 the first best quilt mod which I would recommend you guys check out is called Custom Splash Screen and this is a really cool mod which allows you to change your loading screen so whenever you start up Minecraft or whenever you guys are loading a resource pack or a texture pack you guys will be able to change the screen which it shows you when it is loading. I would recommend that you guys get the mod menu mod which will work with the quilt mod loader and it's going to allow you to actually configure different mod settings for your mods. And after you have got the mod menu mod, you will notice that you do have a mods button in your game menu. And if you click into it, you will be able to click into different mods. And then you will have this button over here, which says configure. So go into that button and you will be able to configure loads of different settings for your particular mods. And for the custom splash screen, we are able to change loads of different options here. You guys can see that we can actually change the progress bar type, background image, logo style. And if I actually expand this texture location section here, we can actually go ahead and change the different image files as well. So as you guys can see, this is using the PNG format here and we can actually go ahead and change these settings as well. Let me just show you guys an example of what the loading screen looks like after it has been configured and changed from the default Mojang red loading screen. So let me go into options here, click on resource packs and let me just disable this programmer art resource pack here and click on done. As you guys can see, the loading screen is different there. It looks quite cool in my opinion. We have gone ahead and changed the background settings there as well so you guys can go ahead and do that and play around with this mod it's called custom splash screen and you are able to use this on the new quilt mod loader on version 1.18.2 the next quilt mod I would recommend you guys check out is called Iris Shaders. And as you guys saw earlier in the video, I did have some shaders enabled. And as you guys can see behind me, I do have a really nice looking water there with some nice reflections. And we do have some really cool sun effects as well. We have shadows in here. We have moving grass and moving trees as well. So the leaves on the trees are moving and everything just looks really nice. And we do have custom clouds as well. So as you guys can see, we do have some nice looking realistic clouds there as you guys can see and the good thing about using iris shaders is that in the recent update we have been able to configure our shader options so if I go into my options menu here click on video settings we do have a shader packs button on the top right here if I click into that you guys can see that I am using the Silders vibrant shaders this is version 1.32 extreme edition and as I mentioned we do have a button here that says shader pack settings if I click into this button I can go ahead and change loads of different options for my different shaders as well. Some shaders do have profiles as well so you can actually select through different profiles like low, medium, high and extreme on some of the other shader packs like for example complementary shaders has some nice profiles with that shader pack. So you can actually go ahead and change loads of different settings. We weren't able to do this before but now with the recent updates for iris shaders we have been able to do this. Another mod that you will need with iris shaders is called sodium and after you have installed sodium you will see that we are able to see 
this menu over here, which is the sodium video settings menu. And we do have a performance options in here as well. If I go into my mods menu here and click into the sodium mod, we can see it says sodium is a free and open source optimization mod for Minecraft, which improves frame rates and reduces lag spikes. So this mod actually complements the iris shaders mod where we can actually have shaders and we can have some nice performance in our Minecraft Java game, similar to if you were using Optifine. So do make sure that you guys check out the Iris Shaders mod and do make sure that you guys also get the Sodium mod, which is going to give you some nice performance boosts inside your Java game. The next quilt mod I would recommend you guys check out is called Loading Tips. Now similar to other games, when you do have a long loading screen, it does actually show you tips about the game on a particular corner or in the center of the screen. And this mod basically does the same thing. So let me actually create a brand new world here. Let me actually quit out of this and let me go into single player. I'm now gonna go ahead and create a brand new world and just check out on the bottom left there. It does give you some cool tips about Minecraft and this is similar to other games and it's a neat effect so if you guys are loading into your worlds and it, sometimes it can be a bit boring looking at that loading screen then we can have some tips which you can actually read and it can help you out about the game as well so let's create a new world and let's take a look at those tips All right, so as you guys noticed there, we did have a few tips there showing in the bottom left there. So as I mentioned, if you guys are bored when you are loading your worlds, then those tips can be useful to go through and read them. So this mod is quite useful. I would recommend that you guys check out the loading screen tips mod on the Quilt mod loader on version 1.18.2. The next Quilt Mod Loader mod that I would recommend you guys check out is called OK Zoomer. This is a client based mod which allows you to zoom in and out when you are looking at a particular location. And recently, the OK Zoomer team actually stopped their support for the Fabric Mod Loader and they have moved into the Quilt Mod Loader. So, in the future, we are going to see some new mods which may only have Quilt Mod Loader support. So, just be aware of that and you can actually go ahead and check out this mod mod on the quilt mod loader and if you guys are using the mod menu mod then you can actually go ahead and configure this and there are loads of different customization options here for the OK Zuma mod which will basically allow you to fine tune your zooms and change loads of different settings. This is very similar to using Optifine and the zoom function of the Optifine mod as well and it's really simple to use. All you have to do is basically look at a particular location and press C on your keyboard and you are going to be able to zoom in and out and if I actually scroll my mouse wheel up you guys can see that I am actually zooming in even more there and if I take my mouse wheel and scroll it downwards I am actually zooming out so you can actually just go ahead and press C on your keyboard and then just zoom in quite a bit and then out as well the next best Quilt mod loader mod I would recommend you guys get is called Polydex. As you guys can see from the description, it says target block entity tooltip and recipes in one UI mod for servers. This is actually a server side mod, so you can actually go ahead and install this on your servers and not have to worry about installing it on your client side, but you can actually use it on the client side as well. I am actually playing a single player world and it does actually work fine on the single player as well. As you guys can see, I am looking at different items here and different blocks and it is actually giving me the description on the top there so as you guys can see I'm looking at a grass block there I'm looking at the grass and if I was to look at a mob for example it will show me their HP information there as well so you guys can see for this particular sheep it's showing me that they've got eight out of eight health for their HP and if I was to attack them it will actually update and now it is showing me that they have got seven out of eight held there so it's really useful i would recommend that you guys check out the polydex mod on the quilt mod loader on version 1.18.2 another cool thing i like about it is that it does actually have a progress bar so when you actually do stuff like break down a tree here for logs it does actually give you a progress bar on the top there and not only that but it actually shows you the percentage as well so you can see when that is going to complete the task for example i do like that information that it does give us so do go ahead and check out the polydex mod 
for your quilt mod loader on Minecraft Java Edition version 1.18.2. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or queries about downloading and installing the quilt mod loader mods or how to download and how to install and how to set up the quilt mod loader then do leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to try and help you guys out. As I mentioned earlier do make sure to check out my other video which I made a few days ago which shows you how to download and install the quilt mod loader and how to download, get and install the Quilt Mod Loader mods and set them up as well. Let me know what you guys actually think about the Quilt Mod Loader. Are you guys going to switch into the Quilt Mod Loader or are you going to carry on using Fabric and Forge for the time being? Please also do make sure that you have subscribed to the channel to help support it, help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.